wholehearted racing this time and the favourite quick flick easily got the best of it races out about three quarters to a length on flirtatious me third goal missed then wholehearted Tim Fowler son length and a half then to Finch Hatton on the outside of critical point and a gap to Silk Ali Navy Seal Ferrad and two lengths to Ghost Story joining the course proper near the 1000 metres and quick flick from his wide alley across onto the rails to lead by a length on goal miss flirtatious me is travelling third and then Tim Fowler son just over a length the whole hearted two lengths then to Finch Hatton from critical point Silk Ali Navy Seal Ferret next to last and Ghost Story at the tail back about 10 lengths from the leader quick flick who at the 700 enjoys a lead of just on a length on goal miss then flirtatious me Pimpala son whole hearted another two lengths to Finch Hatton old Silk Ali out a little deep from critical point who's lost some leeway and then Ghost Story second last is Navy Seal and two lengths to Ferret they're on the point of the home corner now on the favourite leading quick flick more than a length the gap on flirtatious me getting up on the inside of gold miss wholehearted is next followed by pim parlor son of the break then two on the outside ghost story quick flick comes down to the 200 about a length and a half wholehearted flirtatious me and then pim parlor son a hundred left to go and quick flick they can't catch him he's nicely clear of pim parlor son and quick flick will lead all the way quick flick goes to the post and wins a length pim parlor son third going to ferret from on the outside flirtatious me ghost story and then hold hearted critical point finch hatton silk Alley, navy seal and gold mist was last too good for them um number 12 uh, quick flick on the super tab to return three even and 150 one pimpala sun 180 and 11 ferrad 450 pimpala sun will pay two dollars and number 11 ferrad will be third and the dividend four dollars and eighty cents quick flick across nicely from the wide alley and moses was able to dictate the tempo and Quick Flick held them safely by Spectacular Spy from Lilla Flicker, trained by Tim Donnelly for A and Mrs. E. Katransky and Mr. H. Flink. And written by Kevin Moses, 14 starts. He's had seven wins in two seconds, so he's a very, very honest racehorse. Number one, second, Tim Parler, son, battled on by New Region from Play Our Song, Paul Perry, Glenn Boss. And 11, Ferret by Mars K from Typhoid, trained by John Hawkes, Brian York, officially fourth, number six, Flirtatious Me. Nine Ghost Story ran fifth. The overall time was 122.29. That's a new class record, 122.29. That is the previous held by Dinky Flyer at 122.4. Track record is 121.3. So this course proper in magnificent order. A new class record to Quick Flick. Beedman gave hold heart at every possible chance, but uh, he didn't get to the line with any great degree of uh, authority and the winner just a mile too good 12 1 11 quinella nine dollars forty exacta fourteen dollars forty and the trifecta paid two hundred and ninety four dollars thirty the margins a comfortable one and a quarter both ways one and a quarter both ways second race in sydney and this is the hickman's fernhill handicap 1600 corey brown rides 11 truly halo and there are no scratchings now rodney has the update on race this area over the they're racing. Beautiful start, too, and Cohiba actually at the end of the 100 shows out clear of Elegant Court and Eau Sauvage, and then Anthem's travelling over on the inside. A break then to City Devil, and then the Stars Miss Solitaire, truly Halo, pratted out very, very wide, followed by Channel. Sharp Lord, third last from the favourite Dan Endry, and three or four lengths for Vash. They race along past the 1,200 metres, plenty of speed on here, and Elegant Court goes to the lead just over a length, Cohiba. The Victorian Eau Sauvage travelling third, and Channel caught out wide from in the start truly halo out off the track the same can be said for miss solitaire and a length further away on the outside is city devil just shading anthems two to sharp lord ahead the inside of it being dan and two and a half the vash onto the side they run going over the crossing at the 850 and here elegant court joined and headed again by cohiba channel traveling third from in the stars and oh savage hugging the rails one to truly halo miss solitaire and then a gap to city devil anthems over on the rails two sharp lord a half length to dan and three or four lengths for Vash. 500 out in the Fern Hill, working down to the home corner and Cohiba and Elegant Court going stride for stride. Their break is a length on in the Stars Channel, pratted out very wide. Oh, Sauvage is into the clear, followed by Anthems, and Denendry taken to the extreme outside by Darren Beedman. Oh, she got bumped by Truly Halo, knocked her off stride noticeably, but she's still coming quickly. Cohiba, Elegant to a court, tackled by Denendry, Anthems, and then Oh, Sauvage, Denendry wide out, bridging the gap.
up on Cowheba, but Anthems in full flight along the rails. Anthems hits the front and is racing away. And there's the hat trick to Anthems. Anthems from Dan Endry, third Cowheba, then Elegant Cordo, Savar, Sharp Lord. Behind those next truly halo for Vash, and then came City Devil in the stars. Miss Solitaire and last home was Channel. Number one, Anthems to return $5.90 and $1.80. Number six, Denendri, $1.30 and three, Cohiba, $3.50. Helped by Truly Halo coming out and bumping it as they swept into the straight. And she got knocked off stride. She went uh, at uh, different angles for 20 or 30 metres. Really off balance. So under the circumstances, her run was very good. I think she did an enormous job to balance herself and... Uh, get going again as quickly as she did. Number one, Anthems has paid 5, 10 and 170. Number six, second, Dan Endry will pay 140. And number three, third, and that is Cohiba, and it's paid three dollars neat. One, six and three, the official placings. The winner, Anthems, three straight, following wins at Warwick Farm and Hawkesbury by Palace Music from Loyal Lyric, a two-year-old chestnut gelding trained by John Hawkes for the Woodland Stud, Shane Dye. Number six, Dan Endry by Dane Hill from Stormy Exchange. A Bay Philly two, Bart Cummings, Darren Beedman. A number three, Cohiba by Bluebird from Amahara. Bay Cult two, Bill Mitchell, Grant Corksley. The official fourth was number eight, Elegant Court. The time was 1.36.52. 1.36.52. That's uh, not far outside Red Invaders race record of 1.36.2. Sectional time to come. Quinella in New South Wales, 580, exact of $14, trifecta 10 and the sectional time available now, the last 635, 79, 35, 79. It's a pretty good horse, this fella, Anthems. Mum was more than useful, loyal lyric, and uh, this bloke has uh, thrown to mum as far as colouring is concerned, certainly not as far as the white markings are concerned. She was splashed with white loyal lyric and uh, Budgie, she's got a pretty handy son here in Anthems getting through along the inside and taking the Fern Hill handicap by the official margin of three quarters of a length with a neck between the second and third. Three quarters of a length by a neck. Third race of the day, the Carbine Club, 1,600 metres and here there are no scratches. Oh, but coming there look OK, the favourite flab... The racing. Immediately priceless asset drops out towards the tail of the field and Sir Debonair, the early leader from Revenge and wider out King Indian Attack. Then Gold Ruler, Wonder Gallic Storm, a length to Mr. Piper, Stately King, King Kahuna, followed by Classy Jack Walter and Botany Bay Kift. Then Proud Bar, further away, Slav Defence caught out wide from King Brian, two lengths per tank, and priceless asset is last as they head past the 1200 metres and Sir Debonair shows the way. A length and a half on King Indian Attack, third Revenge from Classy Jack sneaking up on the inside. Caught out wide as Gold Ruler. Two lengths to King Kahuna around Walter. Then Gallic Storm, Mr. Piper. Length Botany Bay Gift. Proud Bar on the rails. Then the Victorian King Bride ahead of Stately King. Slav Defence for Tank. And Priceless Asset is last. Coming down the side and linking up with a halfway at the 800. Gold Ruler goes up on the outside to join the early leader, Sir Debonair. Third King Indian attack from Revenge. Classic Jack is over on the inside. Or Classy Jack. And then King Kahuna, Botany Bay Gift. Length and a half break then to Gallic Storm and company wider out Mr. Piper and over on the inside Walter from Proud Bar King Brian Stately King Patank Slav defends back second last and priceless asset the tail end to homeward bound and on the outside Revenge going up quickly hits the front from King Indian attack Gold Ruler and Sedebania King Kahuna joining in Classy Jack the inside from Botany Bay Gift and Slav defense getting a run about two off the rails they're all over the shop here where Revenge in front King Brian is coming home well with Mr. Piper Piper, Slav Defence can't win, but Mr. Piper hits the front, and Mr. Piper will win it. Mr. Piper beat on the outside, King Brian, and third revenge from Slav Defence, priceless asset. Sir Debonair and King Indian attack, Botany Bay gift, King Kahuna, proud bar. Great finish from Walter, then Gallic Storm, further back for Tank, Classy Jack, and the last two, Stately King and Gold Ruler. Super tab number eight, Mr. Piper, 540 and 180, two King Brian, 210, 12, Revenge to pay five twenty. Five dollars twenty and two dollars. Number two will be second. King Brian, written by D. Nicolick. It will pay two dollars thirty. And the third place getter going to. Uh, what did I call third? Um, 
there are a couple in it there. I just can't recall what I call for third anyway. I'll we'll stand by until the number comes up. So eight, two, and we're awaiting on third. The winner, Mr. Piper. Landing some nice bets by Zephyr Zip from Lily Antoinette, trained by Kevin Robinson for Mr. and Mrs. K. Lim and S. and Mrs. O. Tannenbaugh, and ridden by Kevin Robinson, 2 and 12. 12 was the one I called third, Revenge, of course, and it'll pay uh, a dividend of $4.80. So, number eight, the winner, Mr. Piper, B. York. Number two is second, King Brian by Twig Moss from Fanetto, trained by Gerald Ryan, written by Danny Nicolick at 2.30. And number 12, third, Revenge. And the tote 480 by Zedative from Satisfier, three-year-old Bay Gilding, Neville Voigt, Kevin Moses. The official fourth 11 priceless asset, and three ran fifth, and that was Slab Defence. He was back at the tail of the field, coming to the turn. Beedman got a run through on the inside, but he couldn't uh, finish quickly enough. And uh, Mr. Piper has landed some nice bets. Uh, tick over fours on the tote, about sixes to fours in the ring, I'd reckon. He's a promising horse. He's had 10 starts. He's now won three and had two second placings. And Kevin Robinson, a master trainer from that little hamlet of Berry on the south coast of New South Wales, putting the polish on this grey gelding. The overall time, 135.4, 135.4. Not so far outside the record held by Golden Sword, 134.9. And the sectional time was 35.39, 35.39. The Quinella paid $20.10, exact at $25, and the trifecta $663.60. Rickwright Adelaide. The Bell Handicap has raced four, and there are no scratchings. Field of 16 to go round. In the meantime, Rod's got an update for 12. Ruffles jump reasonably from the inside. Wide out next, Love bounced out in front. Tackled for the lead by Ginty. Seeker third and very deep. Prasina followed by Livorno. A length further back is High Cover and Dizzy Heights Villa Gear. Then the favourite Ruffles. A length to the Victorian fabulous Frisco. Emma's Affair wide out and a gap to stitch is Fiddlestick. Talk with her eyes. Second last psalm and absolute in the field. Kirov Dancer. 7.50 to go. Next Love just leading Ginty and on a limb is Prasina. A length and a half to Villa Gear followed by high cover seeker Livorno the rails a length of Dizzy Heights Kirov Dancer going around them quickly from Emma's Affair Ruffles and then comes Fabulous Frisco a length of Stitches and some Fiddlestick and two talk with her eyes homeward bound Ginty on the inside joining next love wider out Prasina Livorno the inside from high cover Villa Gear Fabulous Frisco and Ruffles getting through as the cutaway comes into play plenty of hopes at the 200 metres Prasina next love on the inside Ginty and now Ruffles walks Warming up with Fabulous Frisco and Dizzy Heights. It's Prasina still in front from next. Love Seeker, Ruffles, Fabulous Frisco. Ruffles coming at Prasina. Oh, this is close. We've got Prasina in the middle and Ruffles charging out of the inside. Fabulous Frisco wide out next. From Seeker, next Love and High Cover followed at the head of the others by some. And then Emma's a fair fiddlestick further away in the field was Talk With Her Eyes, then Kirov Dancer. Good margin off to Ginty, Stitches, Villa Igear, Livorno and Dizzy Heights. Near enough to the tail of the field. Prasina. OK, one Prasina, 21.80 and 5.10. The other one, two Ruffles, 2.40, 1.40 and 8. Possibly third, Fabulous Frisco, 1.90. Three or four could have won with Ruffles coming at Prasina. But right on the line, I think Prasina's done just a shade too well. I just fancy the toppy. Prasina might have just got this. If so, at about $21.60 and 4.90. If it's Ruffles on the inside... Uh, number two, she was showing at $2.20 and $1.30. And number eight, and that's fabulous Frisco up there for third, $2.10. Terrific finish with uh, the two of them, Prasina lumping 58 kilos and Ruffles. And the winner will come up in just a moment. Prasina, Ruffles. Looks like Prasina on the slow-mo replay has been able to score here from Ruffles. Doesn't look much doubt there when I have a look at that ground shot. 
I think they might be having problems with the um, display system here on track. One Prasina, yep, there's the winner. Number one is the winner, Prasina, written by Glenn Boss. Number two is second. And number eight is third. So the mechanism for displaying the dividends and uh, numbers has gone kaput. One, two and eight are official. Prasina, Ruffles and Fabulous Frisco. Fourth, Gary? Uh, photo, for fourth. photo for fourth and no margins up at the moment. Okay. Well, what an outstanding performance. Never any closer than uh, three to the inside rail. Started from gate 14 in the field of 16. 58 on a back by Prego from Yatesina. Trained by Bruce McLaughlin for P.D. Dunbar, D.J. Musamichi, P. Pulverenti, S.M. Dickinson and N. Hewitt. And Prasina having her 11th start, six wins, a second and a third. You can take nothing off her. Ruffles didn't jump brilliantly. She was back uh, midfield coming to the turn. Got through as the cutaway rail came into effect. But um, Prasina covering all that ground and conceding a kilo to Ruffles. She was still too good. One, two and eight. Ruffles by Zedative from Paris Miss. Max Lee, Shane Dye. And uh, Fabulous Frisk goes by Bletchingly from Bay Boulevard. Trained by Gerald Ryan. Written by Stephen King. The time was 110.2, 110.2. Gay Galaxy, the record holder, 19.8. That's as far as we can take you at the moment. And uh, the system has become overloaded here uh, as far as the uh, displaying of all necessary information is concerned. So OK, let's have a look at Brisbane race number four. Number the Easter Cup and the stalls are back and they're off and running this time with our Pompeii bouncing quickly. Grey Alex and Cushman pushing forward. Kiwi Golf are easing back. Calzone further out with Sabre Suit from Al Quahira Sun, star of Maple the Rail. Then Toil from Suma Peace further back in the race, Placido. Accommodate back on the inside and wider out section trap very deep around the outside of Clicko. And Tranquility two or three to Pindy for Magical Storm back second last. Royal Snack last of all. Sabre Suit of the 1400 metre mark took out the running to and a half to Cushman. Section went up third. Grey Alex is now up running fourth. He's out three deep off the inside now, Grey Alex. Over on the inside out, Pompeii and back in the middle, Calzone. A length to Toil Star of Maple. Uh, a bit of tightening there. Clicko had to ease back. Kiwi Golfer got up inside it and Tranquility's caught out three deep. A length and a half further back in the race then came El Quahira's son from Accommodate Pindy and then Placido. Second last Magical Storm. Royal Snack last of all. A thousand to go. Sober Suit one and a half. Cushman getting a nice run. Two to section third. Calzone is fourth on the fence. Then our Pompeii from Grey Alex. Tranquility still deep from Toil. Then Suma Peace, Clico, Star of Maple, Pindy. Kiwi Gulf for Accommodate. El Quahira Sun, Royal Snack, Placido and Magical Storm last. 800 out. Sober Suit's got a good break. Three and a half in front over Cushman second. Two to section. One to Grey Alex fourth. Then Suma Peace, Tranquility. Clico pulled out deep. Toil back to the fence and two length. Star of Maple, Pindy. Kiwi Gulf for El Quahira Sun. Calzone dropped out starting a run magical storm but 12 lengths off them from accommodate placido royal snack and our pompeii last of all sober suit has got a big break though around the turn in the easter cup straightened up four lengths in front over cushman in second placing from toil then section gray alex and further back suma peace and the others are struggling sober suit at the 280 meter mark three in front of cushman here's the top weight toil with his big weight coming after sober suit sober suit two in front toil with a grandstand on his back is packing him back toil levels up to sober Suit. Mighty performance by Toil. If he can get there, he gets up to Sober Suit. He fights back. Oh, Sober Suit's come back to win ahead to Toil. Game and defeat. Three lengths away. Third Cushman. Then further back in the race, Placido from Section Suma Peace. Behind those, Magical Storm from Star of Maple. A gap to Grey Alex and accommodate Clico. Kiwi Golf for Pindy. Then further back, El Quahira Sun from Royal Snack. Calzone well back from our Pompeii and Tranquility back at the tail. Double died at 8, 85.60. And the winning play number eight sober suit 10 30 4 10 1 toil 260 17 cushman 320 eight sober suit to pay 10 50 and four even number one toil to return 310 and number 17 uh, cushman to pay a dividend of three dollars ten perth they're uh, getting close to a start there that will be uh, followed
racing in the derby. Nice level start, and uh, the starter got them away in a good line to a massive roar from this huge crowd, and one of the Kiwis, Interval, is going to lead from the other Kiwi, Roy Sin. Nothing like a Dane right up there, third. Length and a half for Lonte between Super Slew, the inside, and wider out next, Saintly. Reasons crowded up a little, followed by Peep on the Sly Octagonal back to third last from Magic at Absolute is Sky Bow. Out of the straight they travel and racing past the 1950 and Interval shows the way by a length and three quarters, nothing like a Dane. Three quarters on the inside, Royce in three lengths for Londay ahead to Super Slew on the rails, two to Saintly around Reasons. About three lengths to Octagonal, a length Peep on the slide, two Magic and two and a half to Sky Bow. Racing to the back of the course and going to the crossing at the 1600 metres and the leader is Interval by a length and three quarters on nothing like a Dane. Shane Dye well up on the irons on the big fella. Three quarters to Royce in. Two and a half for Londe. One super slew and a couple then to Saintly. Travelling on the outside of the despised Ruffy Reasons. Two and a half octagonal who settled nicely. Three lengths to peep on the sly. Second last magic. At a length further back Sky Bow. It'd have to be at least 15 lengths from the leader interval. And as they race to the halfway at the 1200 metres and interval leads out by a length nothing like a Dane. Royce in travelling third a gap of some four lengths for Londe. Nearly two then to Super Slew from Saintly. A couple of lengths to Reasons. At his quarters on the outside, the hot pot octagonal. And then come on the inside, peep on the sly from Magic and three lengths to Sky Bow. Still no change. They sweep onto the high street side and come over the crossing at the 8.50 and interval. Three quarters to a length, nothing like a Dane in close attendance. One and a half third is Royce in two lengths for Lante. Similar margin, Super Slew and Saintly. A couple of lengths to octagonal called upon now from Magic and Reasons. Peep on the sly and still last is Sky Bow. 500 left to go in the derby and interval. A half to three quarters of a length on. Nothing like a Dane. A length for Lonte working to third. Royce in on the inside from Super Slew and then Saintly and Darren Biedman asking the big O to go and he's responding to Biedman's urging coming right down the outside but for Lonte hits the front. Octagonals after him and Saintly between them. Nothing like a Dane can't go on. Octagonals, Saintly and for Lonte. What a finish. Oct Octagonal on the outside and Saintly stride for stride. Octagonal is doing better. The champ is home. It's Octagonal's derby. Saintly second. Third posse for Londe. Then Royce in nothing like a Dane followed home by. Super slew. A good margin. Magic interval. And then on the outside reasons followed by Peep on the sly at absolute Skybow. Magnificent effort. One octagonal, 220, 120. Number three, Saintly, 180. And number six, Volante, 250. Absolutely wild with excitement. Octagonal has won the derby after a soul-stirring struggle with Saintly and Volante. And on the New South Wales toad, octagonal uh, 220, uh, yeah, 220. He came into about evens at the death in the ring. 220 and 120. Number three, Saintly, has paid 160. And number six, Falonte, has returned $2.40. Octagonal completes the three year old Triple Crown. The Canterbury Guineas, the Rose Hill Amy Guineas, and now the AJC Australian Derby. And, of course, the first horse to do so since the derby was switched to the autumn from the spring back in 1979. The infield screen is not working. The occasion is too much even for the old computer. The numbers are 1, 3 and 6. Officially, fourth was number 2, nothing like a day, and number 5, Royce in fifth. Thanks, Craig. The time was 2.28.41. That is a new race record. 2.28.41 betters Dulcify, who went on protest the first year it was run in the autumn. 2.30.7. 2.28.41. And the winner octagonal, as the numbers are official, 1, 3 and 6. He won by a long head with three quarters of a length between second and third. A long head three quarters, a new race record, 2.28.41. We'll have the sectional time in a moment. He's taken his earnings to a tick under four million. Around uh, my quick mathematical uh, 
Mine tells me 3,972,000, nearly 3,973,000. 3, and he only started racing just over 12 months ago. A brown cull three by Zabil from eight carat, trained by John Hawkes for the Woodland Stud, Jack and Bob Ingham. No strangers to derby success, the Inghams. First derby for John Hawkes. Darren Beedman, of course, hasn't been able to win a derby until this afternoon. And here is this mighty horse. He is truly a champion. But let us not forget, Saintly, by Sky Chase from All Grace, gallant in defeat a three-year-old chestnut gilding bart cummings and larry cassidy and third for londe what an outstanding run by this fella he has been the uh, the quiet achiever in many respects there's not a great deal what only three quarters of the length basically from the winner here he hasn't been far away in the guineas and the crowd absolutely rising from the stands where they've been seated and of course the huge crowd on the lawn Welcoming back this sensational cult. And Darren Beedman winning his first AJC derby. There's Jackingham about to take over one of the leading reins. Are they going to attach another one like they did at Rose Hill? No, it's going to be the one rein. Jack and Bob Ingham, Jack's wife Sue, Bob's wife has just joined in too. And uh, Johnny Hawks waiting to greet the horse as he comes back to the enclosure. Well, I, I know Darren Beedman has written winners of most feature races in Australia. This was one to elude him until today. But I think it's fair to say that this win would probably rank as the greatest in his already illustrious career. The derby is all over for 1996. Full honours to octagonal. Saintly second, Falonte third, and nothing like a Dane was simply not good enough. Now, the sectional time? No. I've just got six plus. Six plus. Oh, we've got a, a super factor on this, Craig, haven't we? Right, oh, so the full numbers are 136257. 136257. Five, Thanks. Okay, Rod, we'll uh, hand it over to you. Okay, we better update this uh, Brisbane event. And And they're off in the BMW, Adrian Knox takes and vigil from the inside, one of the best out commencing, well no Vinker. Not far away, Mrs. Havichat, too darn hot, moving up quickly with Isolda and Esther Kelly. And as they travel 250 metres now, it's Isolda on the outside, racing to the front, about three quarters, no Vinker. Third, too darn hot from Esther Kelly, vigil, then Mrs. Havichat, Ushar, a link, Eureka. Jewel, who's the favourite and travels over on the inside from just a runner. Wider out, Queen's Indian, and then nightclub further back is half last, second last, Shin and last of all is Bravo Zulu. They race down the back of the course and link up with the 1,400 metres. Isolda setting a slow speed and it didn't suit the rider on Usha. And Usha hits the front from Isolda. Third, two down hot and travelling. Fourth, Esther Kelly. Followed by Navinka and then Mrs. Havichat. Two and a half lengths away next is Vigil, who's racing on the inside of Eureka Jewel. Another two lengths to Queen's Indian. And then just a runner from nightclub. Three lengths to Hafla. Racing on the outside of Shindig. And two lengths to Bravo Zulu. They're really stringing out now on the Adrian Knox with Esther Kelly, the New Zealander, going to the lead and onto the high street side at the 900. Esther Kelly in front about a length and a half on Usha, third, two down hot I sold a fourth, then Mrs. Havichat. A length further back, Navinka racing between Queen's Indian and a Eureka Jewel, a length and a half to Shindig starting to make some ground, followed by Hafler and then just a run a nightclub Bravo Zulu and Vigil has been shunted back to last as they pack up coming to the 600 and here's another leader with two down hot hitting the front now. Second is Esther Kelly and between the two leaders, Usha third from Mrs. Havichat Isolda. Further back is Eureka Jewel easing to the outside and very wide out is Shindig. They turn and at the 400 coming up the rise in the home straight. Esther Kelly again punching through to join Usha. They beat off two darn hot, followed by Isolda. Eureka Jewel on the outside. Bravo Zulu, then Shindig. And over near the inside Novinka. The leader is Esther Kelly narrowly. Eureka Jewel in hot pursuit and Usha between them, but Eureka Jewel hits the front. The South Australian filly is drawing away. And Eureka Jewel, a length and three quarters to Usha, third Esther Kelly. Then Navinka followed by Isolda Nightclub. Bravo Zulu weakened on her run from Vigil. Then just a runner, two done hot. Mrs. Havichat followed by Hafla. Shindig didn't go on with it in the last 200 and beat one in, and that was Queen's Indian. Number two, the winner.
Number two, Eureka Jewel, 291.60. Number nine, Yusha to return 5.80. And seven, Esther Kelly, 5.50. Dollar fifty. Number nine, second, Usha has returned seven dollars forty. And number seven, Esther Kelly will be third to pay six dollars and forty cents. Beautiful ride by Stephen King on Eureka Jewel, who's by Sammy Palatinsk from Imposing Angel, a beautifully bred Bay Philly, a three-year-old, of course, trained by Peter Hayes at Angerston in South Australia for Colin McAlpine, Sir Edward Stewart, J.G. May, A.J. Russell, and Colin Hayes. And having her ninth start, her fifth win, she's had two second placings. Two nine.